What's up guys? I figured I'd do a video introduction and assembly of the Absolute CNC Products Power Tune Kit. This is a carb conversion kit for a YS engine. Uh, it allows you to run a OS carb on a YS engine. So I am prepping this YS96 SRX that I modified for this new Diablo Nitro kit here that I have and figured it is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and make this video. So you may be asking um, why would somebody want to spend the money and time converting a YS engine to an OS car? Well, there's many reasons actually. Um, first, I'll start, I'll start with the cons of the YS carbon regulator. For one, the YS regulator is known to many to be a bit finicky. Um, some work great and some have issues. Uh, it seems like there's a little bit of a QC issue at YS with their regulators. So some people get good ones and some people get bad ones. Um, the other thing with the regulator is it's a plastic body and from my experience um, they tend to leak after a while if you do not you know make sure all your bolts are perfectly cinched you know perfectly torqued and uh, you know every time you rebuild the motor you gotta put new gaskets on it uh, you just really need to pay attention because they will leak um, the same goes for the uh, the carb. Um, there's a subplate there which will also uh, end up leaking, and uh, the, then you have the uh, the carb uh, mounting to it. You know uh, all this stuff. You got all these plates uh, that are plastic, and then you got the metal uh, expanding and contracting at different rates than the plastic, and um, the plastic you can't really torque down properly, you know, um, all the time. If you if you've got you know big old sausage fingers, you might you might over torque it or something, you know. So it's not the easiest to deal with. Uh, the other issue is with the YS carb is that there's a dry spot between the mid and the high. So when the carb is transferring from the mid needle to the high needle. There's a little bit of a dry spot in there. A little bit of a, it'll get lean for a minute, just for a split second. So you have to overcompensate the uh, two, the needles. You have to overcompensate and make your mid needle a bit fatter than it needs to be to compensate for that lean transition. Um, another issue with the YS carb that I've found is that when you're trying to get the perfect tune, you gotta tune the mid first and then go to the high, go back to the mid, go back to the high, and it seems like you need to go in and out on those needles a few times uh, to really get them to seat properly. It seems like there's a, a needle seating issue with them. Um, sometimes the needles you know, you give it two clicks and it might make a big adjustment and sometimes you give it two clicks and it might only make a little adjustment. It's really, it's not a bad carb, it's not a bad regulator, but it is a bit finicky. Um, the other thing is the YS carb doesn't really tune like most other nitro engines that I've tuned before. And I've, I've tuned quite a bit of engines. I've had experience in... Uh, you know, nitro monster trucks. Um, I started off with nitro airplanes when I was a kid. I, I got into racing eight scale on road. Um, I have quite a bit of, bit of experience, previous experience with nitro engines in the past. So um, speaking from experience, the YS engine, the YS carb, doesn't tune like all the other engines. It, it really requires a very fat, and, I, and by fat I mean rich, mid needle. And the mid needle greatly affects the high needle on the YS engine. Most other engines, the high needle is the king, and the mid needle is just you know you just tune the mid needle to give your high needle make your high needle respond correctly for the most part. Uh, with the YS engine, 
the, the mid needle really affects the high needle, so you have to tune the high and the mid together almost. Um, so a lot of people have problems um, transferring from other you know, nitro engines to the YS because they try and tune it just like they would tune every other nitro engine out there. And what happens is they end up running them too lean and, and blowing them up. You know, there's a lot of guys that complain about YS engines uh, being crappy and not tuning right and, uh, you know, saying they, they uh, don't last, etc. And all that is is because for the most, for, you know, 90% of the time it's because they just don't know how to tune the YS card correctly. Um, and then the other 10% is the guys that don't maintain their, you know, carb and regulator properly, don't check these gaskets because eventually those bolts will work loose a little bit and you'll get leaks. So that's the issue with the YS, you know, carb and regulator setup. Now the positives, you know, what the OS carb does is it makes this motor tune just like every single other nitro engine out there basically. The high needle basically is 90% of the tuning where the mid is just, you know, 10% and then your idle you might not even have to adjust, um, but you might have to adjust it just like a 16th of a turn maybe. To, so it's, it's way easier to tune for most people. The other thing is that it's all aluminum. There's no plastic uh, plates in here. There's no plastic. Uh, there's no plastic whatsoever in this. It's all aluminum, so you're not going to have a bunch of uh, expansion rates. Um, you know, different expansion rates, which will create leaks. Um, the other thing about the OS carb is I feel like it delivers fuel better. It seems like. The motor runs smoother on the high needle with the same amount of fuel. So I'm assuming that it has a better spray pattern. It delivers fuel better, it seems like. So I think it's going to make more, I, I think it makes more power probably. Um, the regulator, you know, you can just pop it off the side, you know, unscrew the needle and you can adjust that, you know, you can clean that regulator out real nice and easy. Um, that, that's about it, really. The, the OS carb is just 10 times, you know, the OS carb and regulator is just 10 times better than the YS. The YS is a great engine. It makes a ton of power. It's just the regulator and carb is not the best. And the OS is. So anyways, um, those are the reasons why you want to go ahead and switch, from, you know, do this conversion and switch from a YS carb to an OS carb. I'm going to move my camera here, bear with me for a second. So I've already opened this bag, but this is the Absolute CNC Products Powatune Kit. You can get on Facebook and in the search bar type in the hashtag and Absolute CNC Products or type in hashtag Powatune, P-O-W-A-T-U-N-E. I uh, put quite a few Facebook posts up. Uh, Facebook post with the hashtag Powatune and you'll be able to find the link to order the kit, the instructions, etc. So once you do that you can go ahead and place your order. Now what you're going to need to do complete this conversion is you're going to need your YS engine of course with the carb and regulator removed. You are going to need your OS carburetor. This is a 61 G of us are running right now. Um, most have not ran the velocity stack. I'm going to go ahead and try to install it on this heli, so I got it. You will need a carburetor retainer bolt. We call this the pinch bolt. And if you really want to bling it out and get a nice strong throttle arm that won't get brittle on you and break, then you can also order the engine pacific, or I should say carb pacific, uh, throttle arm from Gregor as well. 
or J. Treadway. You can order these kits uh, from Gregor McGrath or J. Treadway. So anyways, the OS carb, this is a 61G carb. This is the uh, stock carb that came on the OS 91 Speed 3D and it is also the stock carb for a 105 HCR. The part number is 290-88040. You will need everything in this bag. You also have to get the carburetor retainer bolt. This is we call this the pinch bolt assembly. Part number 290-81720. So once you get these items right here with the conversion kit, you have everything you need to complete this conversion. So first things first. I already did this but I took some acetone in the spray bottle and I wiped the mating surfaces clean. You do not want any oil residue, any remnants of any gaskets, etc. on these mating surfaces. You want a good dry mating surface for these gaskets. Alright, so the Powatune kit comes with the base plate this is the uh, main part of the kit this is what allows you to mount the carb on um, base carb conversion mount I guess you could call it something like that it also comes with the regulator block off plate and you can see these parts are very nicely anodized in red comes with these very nice laser cut gaskets and all the bolts needed. So, as soon as I can find it, there we go. I have some Loctite 243 right here. I recommend using a tiny, tiny bit. Do not, you don't want a big old drop on your bolt because that Loctite will push out around the threads as you screw it in and then it will get on your mating surface and eventually you'll have a leak more than likely from that Loctite not allowing that gasket to seal properly. So let's get these gaskets out of this little baggie. I don't like this. I'm just going to cut it. Okay. So you can see these gaskets are very nice. So you put your gasket on and as you can see perfect cut. Also you can see this is not required but I've modified this motor. I've opened up my crank and I've basically uh, flowed this opening into my crank to perfectly match my adapter plate here. And that will provide better response, more airflow, etc. Alright, so you put your plate on there, I mean your gasket, get your bolts ready. I believe these are 2.5 millimeter. Yep. I'm gonna take the gasket back off real quick. Put your bolts through. And then you're gonna have to hold your fingers on there. And get your gasket over top of these bolts without tearing your gasket. So be gentle. I am actually going to screw them through the gasket as they're very nicely cut as you can see. You see that? Gregor does some nice work man. Alright, so now I'm gonna put just a little tiny 
There's a Loctite on there. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to take my toothpick and make sure it goes around the bolt. Simple as that. And then with the cutout facing the front of the motor, we're going to put that on there. Flip the motor over. And tighten it up. Each side a little bit at a time. Alright, so once you get it just snug, then you can torque it. And you want to torque it evenly. Just a little bit on each side at a time. And you don't need to manhandle this. Alright, that's done. Sorry if there's not a lot of light here. Alright, so now after we got that part done, we're going to go ahead and put a regulator block off plate gasket on. A regulator block plate. And I believe these were 2 millimeter. Yep, 2 millimeter. Tiny bit of Loctite, just like that. Spin it around. That's all you need. What I'm doing when I put my finger on there is I'm distributing that Loctite all the way around the screw and I'm also taking off any excess Loctite. Alright, so we got it on there and now I'm just going to do it in a crisscross pattern. That's it. That part is done. Alright, so next you're going to take your nice shiny OS carb without all the plastic crap on it. Get your O ring out. And you are going to slide your O ring over top of the insulator this yellow piece is called the insulator All right. and then what I like to do is take some tri-flow synthetic grease and you only need a tiny tiny little bit and get it on coated on that insulator
and then take your carb and slide it in just like that you want to make sure that your carb is perfectly square with the motor then you're going to take your pinch bolt and you're going to unscrew it like so and then I like to take a tiny bit of that grease and put it on that o-ring you do not need to do this it's just an extra step that I do and then if you will notice the pinch bolt has a curve in it and you want to take that curve and you want to match it to that carburetor barrel so go ahead and push it in there and then you're going to do the other side as well and it looks like I forgot that you have to pop off the regulator to get that pinch bolt in there alright so to take the regulator off I forget which size it is but I just use these adjustable pliers and you counterclockwise and you can manipulate it out of your way go ahead and pull the screw out tiny bit of grease again on the o-ring again this is synthetic grease you don't want to use petroleum based grease because petroleum based grease eats the o-rings slide it in there with the cut outside facing the carburetor barrel and insert it that grease helps that retainer uh, assembly go in to the carb nice and easy and prevents you from scarring up anything and also I believe it's going to make a little bit of a better seal so then just a tiny bit of Loctite again, just tiny, tiny bit. You don't need much. Don't overdo it. If you watch my video on Facebook, you don't want to do that. All right. And before you tighten it up all the way, you're gonna make one. You want to make sure that your carb. Is square with the crank if it's not square then your linkages your carb linkages and stuff won't work like they should and you could prematurely wear a ball link or something else I, I don't know but you want to make sure it's all nice and square and then you want to torque this down but you don't it doesn't need much so don't overdo it you just want to get it good and snug and then go ahead and take your adjustable pliers or if you have a wrench go ahead and snug that back up and you're done very simple I don't know if you can see that I don't have too much light maybe I can get a light here hold on a second but if you can see I got a straight open spot straight hole right through that carb this thing is going to suck a lot of air and a lot of fuel it's going to work great this conversion is really the best thing 
for nitros in a long time. Um, I've always wanted a nitro and uh, I just got into nitro helis last year and I'm just absolutely in love with it. Uh, I have some very high powered uh, electric helicopters and while they're very fun, you know, I can run some ridiculous head speeds and ridiculous amounts of pitch, etc. Nothing really compares. It, it just doesn't compare to the nitro. The the nitro uh, experience is just so much more involved. Um, listening to the motor, trying to keep that motor on the pipe, hearing that exhaust just sing, you know. Uh, the transitions, you know, everything about it is just so much more, so much more in the experience compared to an electric. Um, also, the flight times with the nitro are much greater. You get a um, a well tuned 91 um, or 96, you know, get it tuned in perfectly to where you're not running excessively rich and you're not running excessively lean, etc. You get like six, seven minute flight times, you know, depending on how you fly. Um, so you get longer flight times, and and you get that all that other you know parts of it, you know, with the with the motor uh, singing and trying to keep it in the RPMs that you that you get the most power out of the motor and all that stuff, and it's just so so much fun. If you're scared of uh, nitro. Um, you know a, of a nitro heli don't be there's just so much fun um, and with this OS carb conversion you know you can run a YS engine and, and not have to um, really worry so much about you know a regulator acting up or you know uh, going lean on you um, like a like a lot of the other guys horror stories are uh, you know you don't you don't have to worry about that stuff so much. This carb right here is leaps and bounds better than the YS carb. Um, not saying that the YS carb doesn't work. I've tuned in a, a 91 uh, to make a ton of power and run great on a Glogo. And I've also uh, got a 90, I had an, a very, very crappy worn out 96 um, with just about everything that could be wrong with it running. Um, so the YS carb does work. It's just it's just not the best option. And this carb conversion kit, the power tune kit, allows you to have the best of both worlds. The YS power, you know, you got that long stroke, and uh, you get the the tuning of the tunability of the OS carb. You know, you get much finer adjustments on the needles. And uh, everything else that I mentioned, like I said, it's just ten. It's superior to the YS setup. So, anyways, guys, all right. And uh, hopefully, you you guys will check out this uh, Nitro, this Diablo, and hopefully, you'll see it flying sometime soon and kicking a whole bunch of ace. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care.